Hello, I'm Richard Rudo, and this is the Damage Formula video guide. And in this video, I will show you how is the calculation works in Arc Knights. All of the conclusion made are tested by me in the game, and I will go through all of them one by one. Before we start, I will show you the six results I have come to. The video clip will be displayed later. Number one, physical damage equals to physical attack minus physical defense. Number two. Arts damage equals to 100 minus rest percent of arts damage. Number 3. When defense or rest is greater than attack, damage is equal to 5% of current attack. Number 4. The minimum damage dealt is always 5% of your current attack. Number 5. Our next formula will be X plus Y, and I'll explain it later. Number 6. Attack is formula multiplied by percentage and plus minus attack are used in formula. Number 7. The most important. Silver Daddy is always your daddy. He is OP. Let us start with the first one. We will be testing it in CE4. The enemies standing in front have a thousand defense. And here's my siege. She is level 60 with 469 attack and her skill will deal 250% of damage. 469 multiplied by 2.5 equals to 1172.5. And siege, there are 173 damage to the enemy. So we can get the conclusion of physical attack damage equals to physical attack minus physical defense. We will be testing number 2 in 410 with Frost Nova. We will have Texas with 0 rest, Silver Ash with 10 rest, Angelina with 20 rest. In this clip, you will see that Frost Nova dealt 567 damage to Silver Daddy, 504 damage to Angelina, and 630 damage to Texas. Texas with 0 rest will take all the damage, while Silver Daddy with 10 rest will take 90% of the damage and Angelina with 20 rest will take 80% of the damage. Hence, we can conclude that Arts damage equals to 100 minus rest percent of attack. And it is totally possible to exceed 100 rest with Elite 2, Nightingale and Matterhorn. The question is, what is your damage if rest or defend exceed attack? CE4 will be our testing ground, and our tester, Rich Cat Jessica, she is level 1, and has 202 attack and her skill will do 170% of her attack which is 343.4 far lower than the enemy 1000 defense she dealt 17 damage which is 5% of 343.4 so we have our conclusion of if rest or defense is more than attack then damage will be 5% of current attack and here's another question what if your attack are slightly higher than the enemy's defense but did not exceed 5% of current attack? And here's my meteorite. She is 668 attack and the skill will deal 150% which is 668 times 1.5 equals to 1002. The enemy defense is 1000. She is 2 points higher than the enemy defense. And let's look at her damage. She deal 50 damage to the enemies, which is 1002 times 0 0.05 equals to 50.1. So we can get the conclusion of all attack will dealt at least 5% of damage based on the current attack. Now let's look at how Arc Max formula works. I will put my conclusion here first and prove them later with flip. Arcmax formula is equal to x plus y, which x is sum of all non percentage number. In other words, x is the base number you will find in the operator's menu plus any of the non percent number. For example, Shining and Nightingale Talent, Debuff Wise, Meteorite, and Ifrit S2. And y is equal to sum of all percentage number multiplied by x. All those percentage number are from skills or from talents. We will be using Silver Daddy to test. He is at 671 base attack, which is talent plus 10% of attack when deployed. 
his attack is now 738. After that, we will deploy Exusai, which gives a 6% of attack buff again. Silver Daddy attack reach 778 now. We will use his True Silver Slash, which will add 160% of attack. His attack is now 1852. Now, we will use Sora's skill, which will add 90% of her own attack. As a attack will reach 2126. After that, we will use Warfaring skill, which plus 35% of the operator's attack. And SA attack will now reach 2361. As you can see, 671 is the base attack of Silver Daddy, which is X, and Y is all the sums of the percentage number multiplied by X. Now, we will test that if they will ignore the deploy order. We have Oshiguma with 681 defense, and an E1 Shining which plus 40 defense to all allies in range. We will deploy Hoshiguma first with her talent to get 6% of extra damage which gives her 722 defense. After that, we will use her skill which will add another 50% of defense. Now, Hoshiguma is at 1062 defense. We will deploy Shining now and add a flat 40 defense to Hoshiguma. If there is a deploy order, it should be 1062 plus 40 is 1102, but now she is at 1125 defense. According to the formula, X has changed. X is now 681 plus 40, which is 721. So all the number will change. The calculation will be 721 plus 6% from the talent and 50% from skill which will equal to 1124.76 We will now test it on the enemies with defense debuff I have my Meteor, Meteorite and Siege Meteor reduce enemy defense by 20% while Meteorite minus a flat 170 defense My Siege will deal a roughly 1404 damage In the clip the enemy's defense is 1000. Using the formula, we will reduce his defense to roughly 664, and hence the damage that Siege will dealt is 740. Now, I'm curious that why Siege did not follow the formula where she used her skill. In Arc Knights, there are two types of skill description. For example, this is Silver Ash skill. You can see that. There's a difference between skill 1 and skill 2 and 3. Skill 1 do not have any plus minus sign, while skill 2 and skill 3 have plus sign in their description. Any skill description without the plus minus sign are calculated as result of formula multiplied by the percentage in description. And any skill that has plus minus sign will go to the formula. For example, I'm using Sage again. Siege second skill is a skill without plus minus sign. At first, she will deal 1404 damage. After she is boosted by Warfarin, her attack is now 670. Now, her skill will deal 1876 damage, which is 670 multiplied by 2.8. And here's come the main part. Silver Daddy with max level and max trust has 763 attack. With his talent, he will be at 839.3 attack when deployed. And his max level skill 3 will boost his attack to 2365.3. Holy! Keep in mind that this is without any buff and Silver Daddy skill 3 can attack up to 6 target with extra large range and can last for 30 freaking seconds. Now, let us add max level, max skill, exercise, Sora, and Warfarin and buff him. 2365.3 become a shocking amount of 3482.78 multi target attack with freaking 30 seconds of duration. Silver Daddy OP, do not accept any argument. Thank you.
And this is not the only buff Silver Ash will get in the game. For example, Castle 3 with Max Talon, Suar with Skill 2 or Skill 1 will also buff Silver Ash massively. Thank you for watching and see you all next time.